Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Not From This World's DAS Studio tutorial series. Today, I want to start a couple of tutorials about DeForce and how we can use DeForce for posing, uh, especially hair and clothing. Now, my first tutorial is going to be really basic. I'm just going to set up a scene that has some DeForce clothing and show you how it works. So as you can see, I've got my girl and we are going to uh, give her a pose. We're gonna add some DeForce clothing to her. I'm gonna show you a few tricks on posing clothing and then we're gonna run a DeForce simulation and uh, get her ready to go. So. I'm first going to choose a pose that I like and kind of set that up. So I have a pose here that I kind of like. Um, we're going to put her in that pose. And then I'm going to get her into the position I want. So I want to kind of turn her like this. Kind of move her. And then I think I want her kind of looking at the camera. And I really like big eyes. So I'm gonna select my eyes here. Want her eyes nice and open. Oh, we don't wanna do that. Let's just scroll down to the eyes. That looks good. Let's move her eyes a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I've got her in the pose I like. And I've got these um, underwear on her. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a DeForce nightgown. All right, so it's already added. And I'm going to add this DeForce nightgown. Now, there's a couple of cool things that I can do here. If you notice, the nightgown just doesn't fit her very well in this pose. That's what DeForce is about. So when you purchase a DeForce enabled uh, garment, all you have to do is run a DeForce simulation and it'll fix all this problem. If you don't have a DeForce enabled article of clothing, you can make it into DeForce. And I'll show you that in my second tutorial. But as far as right now goes, um, I've got my character set up. We have some poke through. You can see her skin is poking through the dress. That's not going to be any big deal. We also have the bra kind of poking through. So both of those can be fixed in DAS Studio really easily. But what we're going to do is we're going to run a DeForce uh, simulation and it's going to conform the dress or the nightgown to her. All right. So I'm going to select simulation settings. And when we have simulation settings uh, selected, we're going to have a lot of DeForce choices here. So we have gravity, air resistance, initialization time. Um, I'm not going to really worry about those at this point. You can make the gravity so it's heavier. So things fall faster, um, your air resistance, if you want to make it windy and you want like the article of clothing blowing to the side, you can use that. What I'm going to um, focus on for this tutorial is this tab here that says start bones from memorized pose. Now that's probably going to be defaulted as off, but we want it on. So make sure that's on. And then uh, for this tutorial, we're going to keep the frames to simulate as current frame. Now we can change this and uh, we can make it 
an animated uh, with a timeline, which can be really handy. Uh, but that's going to be for a, a second tutorial here. We're going to just keep this at current frame. And all I have to do with this start bones from memorized pose on and the current frame selected, I'm just going to hit simulate. And what that's going to do is it's going to put our model back into its base pose. And then she will move into her pose and the nightgown will move with her. Now the bra and panties are just regular uh, clothing. They're not D-force enabled, but I'm not too worried about those because they, they don't really need to move. They're pretty tight against her anyway. But you can see this nightgown is, it's loosely over her and we want it to fall onto her body naturally. And that's what this D-force simulation is doing is it's allowing that nightgown to fall on her body in a natural way for this pose. All right, so let's watch this. In these up-to-date versions of Daz Studio, right now I'm using Daz uh, 4.21, we don't have really a lot of issues with DeForce anymore. Back in earlier versions, as the character posed like it is now, if the character came in contact with the article of clothing, like if her hands came up against the nightgown we had a good chance of having an explosion and that's where the clothing just literally explodes because it can't figure out how to lay upon the figure um there's a chance that this will happen uh but with these new versions of daz we don't see it very often I'm mentioning that because her hands are getting close to the nightgown and we might actually see an explosion. And if we do, it's really a simple process of just kind of moving her arm that's causing the problem out of the way. So we're almost done here and we're at 95%, 96%. So I, it could happen, but it looks like she's going to be in good shape. All right, so we are almost done with the simulation. It's taken about five minutes, not too long. Uh, you just have to be patient to get a good render, you know? So you can see how nicely that nightgown is laying on her. Much better than what we saw before. No poke through anymore. Uh, we still have some poke through with the bra, but I'll show you how to fix that. That's easy. Okay, now we're done. So a simple D4 simulation, and we've got everything kind of set up with the exception of one issue here. And this issue that we're having is that the bra that she's wearing is poking through that nightgown. Now, there is a really easy way to fix this, and that is by selecting this nightgown, and then make sure you're on the para uh, parameters tab, then go down to where it says mesh smoothing, click on that and then what we want to look for is this collision item you see the clothes uh, if you have different layers of clothes or if you just have one layer of clothes the collision item is always defaulted 
to the figure. So you can see my Milica figure here. Um, the collision item is Milica. So what that means is the nightgown wants to fit to Milica. Well, we have this bra underneath and as the bra fits to Milica and the nightgown fits to Milica, we have this poke through. So really all we have to do to fix this is select the bra as the collision item. And so I'm going to click on collision item. It's going to bring up a menu here. I just have to find that bra. So I'm going to come down here. Let's see. The bra is this XF cat ear top. So if I select that, then what is happening is the nightgown is now colliding with the bra instead of Milica. So now we've got that poke through taken care of. Now let me show you one other really cool thing with this nightgown. The reason why I have her bra and panties on her is because we're going to make this a little more sexy by making the nightgown somewhat transparent. So if I select the nightgown and I go to surfaces, I can type in here opacity or I can just scroll down until I find it. It's about halfway down your tab. You'll see where it says cut out opacity and it's set at one. If we knock this down to let's say 0.3, it makes the article of clothing transparent. And so you can see, uh, you, hopefully you can still see that. We can make it a little bit, uh, little bit darker. Let's go 0.4. And now we kind of have a see-through garment. I just think that looks pretty cool with, uh, with the nightgown, you know, very uh, light. Now let's run a simulation in NVIDIA, see what she looks like, and we can make any adjustments that we need. All right, with our preview, she looks pretty good. I especially like the view in the mirror, looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna get out of iRay. Let's go back to texture shaded. Let's open her up. Maybe do a quick adjustment like this. All right, let's render. Okay, so the render is done. I'm pretty pleased. I might uh, mess a little bit with the lighting. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you. You know, just these simple little tips like uh, knowing how to run a D4 simulation, avoiding that poke through, making our nightgown a little bit transparent, uh, these all enhance your ability to make some pretty cool renders. Okay, so before we end, I'm just going to run a few more renders. <clears throat> Same pose, everything, just in different camera angles. So you can kind of get an idea of how we can move the cameras around and get different pictures even in the same exact scene. All right, I hope you learned something. Leave me a like or comment. I'd love to hear from you and enjoy the pictures and have a wonderful day.